Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Tech, man. My name is Jay CN, coming back with another one, man. And I just want to ask y'all a question, man. Listen, is it just me, right? Or have y'all noticed that since y'all been on this journey, y'all having more and more outer body experiences, okay? Have y'all noticed that? I've noticed as this journey has progressed, as I've moved forward, right? I started having more and more outer body experiences as if I'm looking at myself. You know, whether I'm going through a certain type of situation, whether I'm thinking something, and especially if I'm not doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing while on this journey, or even just having the ideas of something. You know, I've noticed that I have an experience where I'm looking at myself. You know what I'm saying? And the thing was, it first started, right? It first started, actually, now that I think about it, during the first relapses. You know what I mean? When I was having those relapses, you know, like I said, I went eight days my first time around when I first started semen retention. Then I went six days. You know what I mean? Then I went two days, then I went one day. But I think on my second relapse was when I had my first outer body experience where I was actually looking at myself do what I shouldn't have been doing. And it was like, I think that's what made me feel more shitty afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, yo, it was like while I was doing it, while I was on a computer, while I was looking up shit, you know, and even while and even while I was fapping, no lie, it was like I had an experience where I was actually looking at myself doing it. But then at the same time, I'm still in my body and I'm continuing to do it. I can't stop. I couldn't stop. You know what I'm saying? And that was I dealt that was probably like the first time I had an outer body experience, which uh put me in a depression even more. You know, and then the fact that I felt depressed even more after, even more so than that first relapse because I was so proud of myself after going eight days and then I, when I relapsed, it was like, okay, whatever, whatever. But then I'ma start it over again, then boom, I go six days and then I relapse again and that's when I had that outer body experience. And listen, man, if y'all going through that, I want y'all to understand that that is your higher self, okay? That is your higher self. Uh, and that will happen more and more as you go through different experiences. It, does, it doesn't mean that that's gonna happen only during relapses, but that second relapse is when it hit me where I, uh, after I did that, that's where I literally watched myself fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And it felt like it wasn't nothing I could do about it. And that's why I was in a deep depression. Not a deep depression, but I felt more shitty than I did the first time. You know what I'm saying? It put me back in the area where I felt like I was like depressed, like where I was at before I even started the journey. You know what I'm saying? And that was because I knew better. You know what I mean? I was already excited about going eight days and then I relapsed and then I go another six days you know, planning on going further. And then the fact that I didn't even go further, it just felt like I wasn't gonna ever get right. And then at the same time, I'm having an outer body experience watching myself go through the motions of doing the shit that, that I was fighting hard to not do. And like I said, that just sent me into a deep, that sent me, that made me feel more shittier than ever. And then it, Obviously, once you feel shitty like that, you want to take your mind off of it. And that's when I relapsed two more times. And then after that last time, I was like, fuck this shit. I ain't doing it no more. You know what I'm saying? But even going throughout this journey, though, I've started to have more and more outer body experiences, not just through relapses, just through the, uh, some of the things that I've gone through. Even with losing my brother, going through the motions of that, I was having an outer body experience, you know, looking at myself go through the things that I was going through. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, like just, just even when I wasn't on top of my shit, you know, I, I wasn't relapsing, but I still wasn't on top of my shit. I'm still trying to, I was still trying to figure myself out during this journey and then I'll be having moments where I'm just sitting there on the couch and then it'll feel like I'm looking at myself. It'll feel like I'm looking at myself asking like, yo, what is you doing? What is you doing? Or just even chilling, just having outer body ass experiences. And it's like, yo, it was like, it was like I was getting 
a glimpse of myself from a different perspective. You know, and I want to tell y'all that it's normal. When you're on this journey, you're gonna start to you're gonna start to view yourself in a different light, and you're gonna start to be you're gonna see yourself on the outside looking in. You're gonna see yourself. You're gonna be able to view yourself. Even when you going through the motions, whether you doing the right thing or the wrong thing, or you just having a situation in your life that you haven't fully processed in your mind. So you you looking at yourself. And for real, for real, when I went through the situation with my brother, right? After losing my brother and I was having those outer body experiences damn near the whole time, you know, after it happened, you know, and it replays in my mind because I was looking at myself going through these emotions. You know what I'm saying? And then while I was having those experiences during that time, it was making me more and more sad. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, yo, it was like watching somebody else go through something, but you was watching you. I was watching myself go through each emotion, every emotion and that feeling. And it was like, I was like reliving that shit. So it was like making me feel even worse, you know, for myself as I was going through that. You know, if y'all understand what I'm going through and, and what, I, what I'm saying. And then on top of that, just seeing my family and what they was going through. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, it don't always have to be like some type of tragedy or you relapsing. But you're going to find yourself, you're going you're gonna to find yourself in these spots where you, you know, you having these outer body experiences in that you know, picks up even when you're not doing, even when you, even when you're not doing the right thing, whether you, you know, uh, not on top of, you know, working out or, you know, you could be eating bad or you just having bad thoughts and shit like that. You're going to notice that you're going to be having these experiences like where you're looking at yourself like you like your conscience. You know what I'm saying? You know when your conscience telling you, hey, bro, hey, get up on your shit. Hey, bro, you might not want to do that. Hey, listen, man, shouldn't you be doing this or working on that? You're going to have these experiences. It's going to pick up as you go through this go through this journey and progress. And it's almost like, yo, it's like having a guardian angel at the same time. It's your higher self, but it's like yourself. It's your higher self in this journey keeping you on point. You know what I'm saying? So you can have a view of yourself. And that's something that, listen, man, that you probably, that at least me, I wish I always had those type of experiences, especially while I was doing some of the things that I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I think if I would have had more of those experiences where I was seeing, like I was like on the outside looking at myself, seeing myself self-destruct, like I think that would have helped me because a lot of the times people don't want to see that. You know what I mean? It's one thing to look in the mirror, but to actually have a front row seat, a front row seat, looking at yourself, self-destruct, a front row seat while you viewing yourself like just declining, a front row seat, even sometimes when you're doing the right thing, you know what I'm saying? Or you got something in your head and you, you know, you just got this like, it's a, I kind of view it as like this floating object, like the, like a real angel that surrounds you all the time that, that where you get to like view yourself in a different light. You know what I mean? But I look at it as having a protector, you know, and that's what I, that's what I wanted to explain to y'all too, man. It's not necessarily, it's not a bad thing at all. You know, depending on what you're going through. Like I said, when I was going through the things with my brother and whatnot after losing him, yeah, that kind of made me feel a certain type of way because it was, it was, it almost seemed like it wasn't real. And when you, when you know, when you going through something and this shit just feel like, yo, like this shit is unrealistic, it just take your mind to a different space. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you to kind of bring yourself back down to reality and realize like, hey bro, this shit real. This shit is real. What you're going through is real. It's no escaping it. And that's why I say it's so important for you to allow yourself to feel and go through those emotions. Because you got so many people that try to escape these things. They try to escape their reality and it doesn't do anything for them. You know what I'm saying? But if it was any way to escape the reality while being in reality, I won't. I don't mind, uh, you know, being my higher self and viewing myself in reality. You know what I'm saying? And having those outer body experiences because I think those experiences have also helped me along this process. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. I don't know if, if y'all are going through that. If you are, I'm here to tell you that it's normal. But throughout this whole journey, I've been having them every once in a while. And actually, I don't mind it because it feel like, like yo, like, like I'm my own guardian. You know what I'm saying? And of course, along with the most high. But I'm like, yo, is this like supposed to be happening? Like, am I supposed to be having this many outer body experiences? Even just, you know, as I move throughout my life, is this something that I should be getting used to or what? But don't trip. It's your higher self, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when you think about it though, you wanna stay, you wanna, you wanna be in that, in that mode. You know what I'm saying? Because that's gonna keep you on point. You know, but I didn't know for sure if I was the only one. I've had those experiences throughout going through this whole thing. Since I started this journey, like I said, it kicked off during my second relapse is when I started having that experience. I just want to know if y'all have went through that too while y'all been on this journey. But yeah, man, that's my word, man. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all be easy. Uh, yeah, give you this, give you that, but Cindy got nothing for you No simping in my decisions, I gotta keep it royal King shit, I'm the gift, I promise I won't adore you But I will explore you